Best. Best. The best person or thing is better than all the others. I got the best score on the math test. Card. Card. A card is a small piece of plastic or paper used to buy or use things. Adam used his library card to borrow a book. Crowd. Crowd. A crowd is a large group of people who are together in one place. The crowd waved to the camera. Day. Day. A day is a period of 24 hours beginning at midnight. There are two more days until the weekend. Dish. Dish. A dish is a type of food that is cooked in a particular way. My favorite dish at the restaurant is chicken curry. Easy. Easy. An easy action is not difficult to do. Karen is happy because her English homework is easy. Experience. Experience. To experience is to do or see something or have something happen to you. Going to the concert was the best thing I have ever experienced. Hotel. Hotel. A hotel is a place where people stay overnight when they are traveling. This family is staying at their favorite hotel. Hour. Hour. An hour is 60 minutes. The man waited for the train for over an hour. Light. Light. Light is a form of energy or brightness that makes it possible to see something. I will turn on the light so that you can see. Market. Market. A market is a place where people buy and sell products or foods. I go to the market every weekend to buy vegetables. Plan. Plan. To plan is to think about and arrange the details of something you want to do. It's Sam's turn to plan the company party. Price. Price. The price is the amount of money needed to pay for something. Julie is checking the price of a sweater. Short. Short. A short thing is not long or not tall. The days are short in the winter. Shop. Shop. To shop is to visit places where goods are sold in order to look at and buy things. Tom decided to shop for groceries on his way home. Station. Station. A station is a place where buses and trains stop for passengers. This man is waiting at the train station. Surprise. Surprise. To surprise is to cause something that is unexpected. His parents decided to surprise him with a puppy. System. System. A system is a group of related parts that move or work together. This device controls the building's heating system. Taxi. Taxi. A taxi is a car and driver that you pay to take you somewhere. Gary drives a taxi, so he knows the roads very well. Two. Two. Two is the word for the number two. Two friends study together at the coffee shop. 48 hours in Hong Kong 48 hours in Hong Kong may sound like a short visit, but it will surprise you how much you can see and do. The best way to get the most out of your trip is to plan in advance. Hong Kong has a great public transportation system that is easy to use. The system is called the MTR, which includes the metro, trains, and buses. You can get a card called the Octopus Card at a metro station and use it to travel around. Taxis are another way to get around Hong Kong. 
Not only are there many taxis everywhere, but they are also quite cheap compared to taxis in other large cities. On the first day of your trip, go up Victoria Peak. At the top of the mountain, you will see beautiful city views. Then have dim sum for lunch. Dim sum consists of many different dishes. It is a great way to taste a little bit of everything. In the afternoon, take the Star Ferry from Hong Kong Island and cruise across Victoria Harbor to Kowloon. There are many markets in this area. Temple Market and Ladies Market are very popular. At 8 p.m., join the crowd that is watching the Symphony of Lights, which is a 15 minute light show around Hong Kong's tall buildings. On the second day of your trip, spend your time shopping at one of Hong Kong's many malls, such as IFC or Times Square. You can also shop at smaller stores in Soho and Shengwan as well. Unlike the markets, the prices are set, so you cannot change them. After shopping, try an order of roast goose, which is similar to roast duck. Roast goose is a special dish in Hong Kong. If you want to experience Hong Kong's nightlife, head to Lang Kwai Fong. If not, go back to your hotel for a good night's rest. With careful planning, you can do a lot in just two days in Hong Kong. 48 Hours in Hong Kong 48 hours in Hong Kong may sound like a short visit, but it will surprise you how much you can see and do. The best way to get the most out of your trip is to plan in advance. Hong Kong has a great public transportation system that is easy to use. The system is called the MTR, which includes the metro, trains, and buses. You can get a card called the Octopus Card at a metro station and use it to travel around. Taxis are another way to get around Hong Kong. Not only are there many taxis everywhere, but they are also quite cheap compared to taxis in other large cities. On the first day of your trip, go up Victoria Peak. At the top of the mountain, you will see beautiful city views. Then have dim sum for lunch. Dim sum consists of many different dishes. It is a great way to taste a little bit of everything. In the afternoon, Take the Star Ferry from Hong Kong Island and cruise across Victoria Harbor to Kowloon. There are many markets in this area. Temple Market and Ladies Market are very popular. At 8 p.m., join the crowd that is watching the Symphony of Lights, which is a 15 minute light show around Hong Kong's tall buildings. On the second day of your trip, spend your time shopping at one of Hong Kong's many malls. Such as IFC or Times Square. You can also shop at smaller stores in Soho and Shengwan as well. Unlike the markets, the prices are set, so you cannot change them. After shopping, try an order of roast goose, which is similar to roast duck. Roast goose is a special dish in Hong Kong. If you want to experience Hong Kong's nightlife, head to Lang Kwai Fong. If not, go back to your hotel for a good night's rest. With careful planning, you can do a lot in just two days in Hong Kong. Bath. Bath. A bath is the act of sitting in a tub of water in order to get clean. After playing in the dirt, the boy took a bath. Bend. Bend. To bend is to move something so it is not straight. Lee bent over and picked up the paper on the ground. Chew. Chew. To chew is to break up food by using the mouth and teeth. I always chew my food carefully before swallowing it. Disabled. Disabled. A disabled person has a physical problem that makes some activities difficult. The disabled man used a wheelchair to move around. Fantastic! Fantastic! A fantastic thing is really good.
The student did a fantastic job on his project and got an award. Fiction. Fiction. Fiction is a story that is not true. I enjoy reading works of fiction because they are very entertaining. Flag. Flag. A flag is a piece of colored cloth that represents something. Our country has a beautiful flag. Inspect. Inspect. To inspect is to look at something carefully. The mechanic inspected our car to see if it had any problems. Journal. Journal. A journal is a type of magazine that deals with an academic subject. Miyoung was busy working on an article for an art journal. Liquid. Liquid. A liquid is a substance that is neither solid nor gas. Water is the most important liquid for life. Marvel. Marvel. To marvel at something is to feel surprise and interest in it. We marvel that our excellent piano playing. Overcome. Overcome. To overcome a problem is to successfully fix it. She overcame her shyness and spoke in front of the class. Recall, recall. To recall something is to remember it. She was trying to recall what she had told her friend. Regret, regret. To regret something is to wish that it hadn't happened. I regret that I was mean to my sister. Soul, soul. A soul is a person's spirit. Some people believe that the soul lives after the body dies. Sufficient, sufficient. Sufficient shows that something is enough in quality or quantity. After eating a sufficient amount of food, I left the table. Surgery, surgery. Surgery is medical treatment involving a doctor cutting into a body. I needed surgery to repair my leg after the accident. Tough, tough. A tough thing is difficult. The man passed his driving test, even though it was very tough. Tube, tube. A tube is a pipe through which water or air passes. The pile of tubes was going to be put in the ground. Value, value. The value of something is what it is worth. Your love for me has greater value than gold. The doctor's cure. James Fry was a fantastic doctor. His surgery helped many disabled people overcome their problems. He also wrote for a popular doctor's journal. James was very busy. His son Steve. Rarely saw him. One day, James was walking and inspecting a patient's file. There was water all over the floor. James slipped on the liquid and fell. He fell on a broken glass tube. He was hurt. Steve came to visit him in the hospital. James said, "It will be tough for me to stay in bed, but I can hardly bend my legs." Then let's watch a movie," Steve said. It made them laugh together. Steve said, "I have to leave, but here's some fiction to read." James started to recall fun parts of life. He marvelled at small things like food. He was too busy to notice them before. Steve, he said, "You get more food value when you chew slowly." But I think it makes food taste better too. Weeks later, James said, "Steve, I haven't spent enough time with you. I regret this. Even my soul feels better when you visit. But I have spent sufficient time here. We should go home." 
Outside, there was a warm breeze. James watched a flag blow. Finally, James said, I'm still not ready to work. I'm going to take a long bath, and then we'll watch a movie together. I'll start work tomorrow, and this time, I will not work too hard. The Doctor's Cure James Fry was a fantastic doctor. His surgery helped many disabled people overcome their problems. He also wrote for a popular doctor's journal. James was very busy. His son, Steve, rarely saw him. One day, James was walking and inspecting a patient's file. There was water all over the floor. James slipped on the liquid and fell. He fell on a broken glass tube. He was hurt. Steve came to visit him in the hospital. James said, It will be tough for me to stay in bed, but I can hardly bend my legs. Then let's watch a movie, Steve said. It made them laugh together. Steve said, I have to leave, but here's some fiction to read. James started to recall fun parts of life. He marveled at small things, like food. He was too busy to notice them before. Steve, he said, you get more food value when you chew slowly. But I think it makes food taste better, too. Weeks later, James said, Steve, I haven't spent enough time with you. I regret this. Even my soul feels better when you visit. But I have spent sufficient time here. We should go home. Outside, there was a warm breeze. James watched a flag blow. Finally, James said, I'm still not ready to work. I'm going to take a long bath, and then we'll watch a movie together. I'll start work tomorrow, and this time, I will not work too hard. Atom. Atom. An atom is the smallest unit of a substance. A molecule consists of a combination of two or more atoms. Beautiful. Beautiful. A beautiful thing is good to look at. There was a beautiful sunset. Breadth. Breadth. Breadth is the distance from one side to the other side of something. The breadth of the northern wall of the house is 20 meters. Comet. Comet. A comet is an object in space made of ice and rock with a tail of glowing dust. Comets take many decades to complete an orbit around a star. Cover. Cover. To cover something is to put things over it. The earth was covered with clouds. Despair. Despair. Despair is the feeling of having no hope. After we lost the big account, our salespeople were filled with despair. Form. Form. To form is to make or to shape something. They formed a new government. Fragment. Fragment. A fragment is a small part of something. After the light broke, there were fragments of glass to clean up. Galaxy. Galaxy. A galaxy is an extremely large collection of star systems. Our solar system is located in the outer area of our galaxy. Gloom. Gloom. Gloom is a state of almost complete darkness or sadness. In the gloom of the morning, it was difficult to see the boat on the lake. Large. Large. Something large is very big. I was frightened by a large bird. Moon. Moon. The moon is an object that travels around our Earth. The moon looks beautiful tonight. Radiate. Radiate. 
To radiate means to send out energy or heat. The heat from the fireplace radiated throughout the room. Roam. Roam. To roam means to move around without a plan or purpose. All day, the cows roamed around the field eating grass. Solitary. Solitary. A solitary thing is lonely or the only one. The only thing in the room was a solitary chair. Spectrum. Spectrum. The spectrum is the full range of color, ranging from red to violet. You can see the entire spectrum in a rainbow. Sphere, sphere. A sphere is a three-dimensional round shape, like a ball. The balloons were inflated into a variety of colorful spheres. Star, star. A star is a bright, shining thing in the night sky. The stars come out at night. Status, status. Status is the position of something or someone in relation to others. She had achieved the status of being the smartest girl in the class. Ugly, ugly. Something ugly is not good to look at. It was an ugly sight. How Comet got his tail. A solitary rock roamed through the cold gloom of space. It slowly moved through space with a feeling of sadness. In the large and beautiful galaxy, it was only a tiny rock. It felt as small as an atom. On its journeys, it encountered many amazing objects. It flew by beautiful moons that were covered with dust. Why can't I be as beautiful as them? It thought. The rock passed a large planet. The sphere was hundreds of times larger than the breadth of the small rock. Why can't I be as large as that? It wondered. The rock was filled with despair. It was surrounded by beauty and greatness. Yet it was just a small and ugly fragment of rock. One day, it approached the area of a bright star. What's wrong? The star asked. Oh, I wish I had a higher status in the galaxy. All the other objects are so beautiful and large. The rock replied, "But I'm just an ugly rock." The star considered the problem. At last, it said, "You don't have to worry any more. I think I can help." The star radiated its light brighter and hotter than it had ever done before. "Come a little closer," the star said to the rock. The rock drifted closer to the star. Suddenly, the ice that was in the rock's tiny holes melted and became gas. Then. The gas came out behind the comet to form a brilliant tail. The tail shone with all the colors of the spectrum. The little rock had become a beautiful comet. It looked so amazing. It realized that the star helped it change its appearance. Thank you, the comet said, and then flew away with its new beautiful tail following behind it like a giant cape. How Comet Got His Tail. A solitary rock roamed through the cold gloom of space. It slowly moved through space with a feeling of sadness. In the large and beautiful galaxy, it was only a tiny rock. It felt as small as an atom. On its journeys, it encountered many amazing objects. It flew by beautiful moons that were covered with dust. Why can't I be as beautiful as them? It thought. The rock passed a large planet. The sphere was hundreds of times larger than the breadth of the small rock. Why can't I be as large as that? It wondered. The rock was filled with despair. It was surrounded by beauty and greatness. 
Yet it was just a small and ugly fragment of rock. One day it approached the area of a bright star. What's wrong? The star asked. Oh, I wish I had a higher status in the galaxy. All the other objects are so beautiful and large. The rock replied, "But I'm just an ugly rock." The star considered the problem. At last, it said, "You don't have to worry any more. I think I can help." The star radiated its light brighter and hotter than it had ever done before. Come a little closer," the star said to the rock. The rock drifted closer to the star. Suddenly, the ice that was in the rock's tiny holes melted and became gas. Then the gas came out behind the comet to form a brilliant tail. The tail shone with all the colors of the spectrum. The little rock had become a beautiful comet. It looked so amazing. It realized that the star helped it change its appearance. Thank you, the comet said, and then flew away with its new beautiful tail following behind it like a giant cape. Behind it, like a giant cape. Accuse, accuse. To accuse someone of something is to blame them for doing it. She accused her brother of breaking her computer. Adjust, adjust. To adjust something means to change it so it is better. He adjusted the old guitar to make it sound better. Amuse, amuse. To amuse someone means to do something that is funny or entertaining. The singer was very good. She amused the crowd. Coral, coral, coral is the hard, colorful material formed by the shells of animals. The diver admired the beautiful coral under the water. Cotton, cotton, cotton is a cloth made from the fibers of the cotton plant. I like to wear clothes made from cotton in the summer. Crash, crash. To crash means to hit and break something. There was a loud noise when the car crashed into the tree. Deck, deck. A deck is a wooden floor built outside of a house or the floor of a ship. A ship will store many supplies below its deck. Engage, engage. To engage in something means to do it. Dad was engaged in sawing a piece of wood in half. Firm. Firm. A firm thing is solid but not too hard. He sleeps better on a firm bed. Fuel. Fuel. Fuel is something that creates heat or energy. Wood is the fuel that burns to make heat in this fire. Grand, grand. Something grand is big and liked by people. The grand mountain rose high into the sky. Hurricane, hurricane. A hurricane is a bad storm that happens over the ocean. The wind from the hurricane bent the palm tree. Loss, loss. A loss is the act or instance of losing something. I suffered a big loss while I was gambling. Plane, plane. A plane thing is simple and not decorated. He bought a pair of plain white shoes over the weekend. Reef, reef. A reef is a group of rocks or coral in the ocean. He walked along the reef and looked at the water below. Shut, shut. To shut something means to close it tightly. Please shut the door. The air outside is cold. Strict, strict.
A strict person makes sure others follow rules. The teacher is strict. She does not let students talk in class. Surf. Surf. To surf means to use a special board to ride on waves in the ocean. The students went to the beach to surf during their vacation. Task. Task. A task is a piece of work to be done that is usually difficult. My task for the weekend was to clean the entire backyard. Zone, zone. A zone is an area that has different qualities from the ones around it. Firefighters often work in danger zones. The two captains. Once there were two ships. Both ships carried cotton. The captains were very different. Thomas was strict. He made his crew engage in difficult tasks, and he kept firm control of his ship and men. His ship's deck was always clean and working well, and he sailed carefully to use less fuel. His ship was very plain, but he never had a problem with it. The second captain, William, was not so serious. He had a grand ship. And he loved having fun. When they stopped at islands, his crew amused themselves by going surfing or diving on the reef. They gave more time to these things than to taking care of the ship. One day, Thomas saw a hurricane ahead. He knew that his ship needed to turn around, but he was sure William did not see the storm. He adjusted the dials on the radio and called his friend to tell him how to avoid the danger zone. But William's radio was not working, so it was not possible to contact him. When William's ship got to the hurricane, the wind blew it into the reef. William tried to shut the door, but the ship had already crashed into the coral, and there was a lot of damage. William's crew then accused him of being a bad captain. The loss of the ship taught William a lesson, and he then really understood the value of keeping equipment working. The two captains. Once there were two ships. Both ships carried cotton. The captains were very different. Thomas was strict. He made his crew engage in difficult tasks, and he kept firm control of his ship and men. His ship's deck was always clean and working well, and he sailed carefully to use less fuel. His ship was very plain, but he never had a problem with it. The second captain, William, was not so serious. He had a grand ship, and he loved having fun. When they stopped at islands, his crew amused themselves by going surfing or diving on the reef. They gave more time to these things than to taking care of the ship. One day, Thomas saw a hurricane ahead. He knew that his ship needed to turn around, but he was sure William did not see the storm. He adjusted the dials on the radio and called his friend to tell him how to avoid the danger zone. But William's radio was not working, so it was not possible to contact him. When William's ship got to the hurricane, the wind blew it into the reef. William tried to shut the door, but the ship had already crashed into the coral, and there was a lot of damage. William's crew then accused him of being a bad captain. The loss of the ship taught William a lesson, and he then really understood the value of keeping equipment working. Apology, apology. An apology is what people say to show that they are sorry. After arguing with her teacher, the girl wrote the teacher an apology. Bold, bold. A bold person is not afraid of doing something. The bold man climbed the high mountain. Bug, bug. A bug is a small insect. Birds like eating bugs. Capture, capture. To capture something is to catch and hold it. James tried to capture the bubbles in his hands. Duke. Duke. A duke is a man of high social rank, but below a king or queen.
The Duke ruled over the land. Expose. Expose. To expose is to make known something that is hidden. He took off his shirt to expose his costume. Guilty. Guilty. Guilty people feel bad for something they did. I felt guilty for taking my sister's cookies. Hire. Hire. To hire someone is to pay that person money to work for you. We hired a man to paint our house. Innocent. Innocent. An innocent person is not guilty of a crime. The judge said that the woman was innocent of the crime. Language. Language. A language is a system of communication. The reporter spoke a language Sally had never heard before. Minister. Minister. A minister is an important person in government with many duties. The Minister of Education controls the country's schools. Ordinary. Ordinary. Ordinary means normal or not special in any way. Today was just an ordinary day. Nothing unusual happened. Permanent. Permanent. Something permanent lasts for a long time or forever. We don't know if Aunt Mildred's visit will be a permanent one. Preserve. Preserve. To preserve is to protect something from harm. Dad sprayed a chemical on the house to help preserve the walls. Pronounce. Pronounce. To pronounce is to say the sounds of letters or words. Young children often have trouble pronouncing words right. Resemble. Resemble. To resemble someone is to look like that person. The baby really resembles his father. Symptom. Symptom. A symptom of a bad condition or illness is a sign that it is happening. Sneezing and a high fever are symptoms of the common cold. Tobacco. Tobacco. Tobacco is a plant whose leaves are smoked, such as in cigarettes. The tobacco in cigarettes is bad for you. Twin. Twin. Twins are two children born at the same time. My sister and I are twins. We look exactly the same. Witch. Witch. A witch is a woman with magical powers. People think that witches fly around on broomsticks. The Duke and the Minister. A mean duke grew tobacco. The duke's top minister was his twin brother. They resembled each other a lot. One day, the tobacco plants started to die. The duke hired men to watch the fields so they could see who was damaging the plants. Soon, the men brought a woman to him and said, "We captured a witch." The duke asked, "How do you know?" She's saying magic words. I can't pronounce them. She has cursed us. The death of the plants is a symptom of her curse. The men said, "I am just an ordinary woman. I was singing a song in a different language." The woman said, "The duke didn't listen. You are guilty. You will go to jail," he said. The minister thought that she was innocent. He needed to expose the truth. The minister went to find out what was happening to the plants. He saw hundreds of small bugs eating them. Then the minister went to the jail and did something bold. "Let this woman go," he said. The guards thought he was the duke. They let her go. The minister said to the woman, "I owe you an apology." "Thank you. I thought my stay in jail would be permanent," the woman answered.
The minister thought the duke would punish him, but he didn't. The duke was too busy trying to preserve his plants. The duke and the minister. A mean duke grew tobacco. The duke's top minister was his twin brother. They resembled each other a lot. One day, the tobacco plants started to die. The duke hired men to watch the fields so they could see who was damaging the plants. Soon, the men brought a woman to him and said, "We captured a witch." The duke asked, "How do you know?" She's saying magic words. I can't pronounce them. She has cursed us. The death of the plants is a symptom of her curse. The men said, "I am just an ordinary woman. I was singing a song in a different language." The woman said, "The duke didn't listen. You are guilty. You will go to jail," he said. The minister thought that she was innocent. He needed to expose the truth. The minister went to find out what was happening to the plants. He saw hundreds of small bugs eating them. Then the minister went to the jail and did something bold. "Let this woman go," he said. The guards thought he was the duke. They let her go. The minister said to the woman, "I owe you an apology." Thank you. I thought my stay in jail would be permanent. The woman answered. The minister thought the duke would punish him, but he didn't. The duke was too busy trying to preserve his plants. A company. A company. To accompany other people means to join them or go with them. My brother has accompanied me to the movie. Bear, bear. A bear thing is plain and not covered. He likes to walk around in his bare feet. Branch, branch. A branch is the part of a tree with leaves. The monkey was hanging from a branch on the tree. Breath, breath. A breath is the air that goes into and out of one's lungs. You can't take a breath under water. Bridge, bridge. A bridge is something that is built over a river so people can cross it. The old bridge fell into the river. Cast, cast. To cast something means to throw it. The fisherman cast his line into the water. Dare, dare. To dare means to be brave enough to try something. He dared to jump out of the airplane and skydive. Electronic, electronic. An electronic thing uses electricity to work. I like having electronic devices such as an MP3 player. In, in. An inn is a place where travelers can rest and eat. The visitor got a room at the inn. Net, net. A net is a bag made of strong thread. It is used to catch animals. The boy caught butterflies in his net. Philosophy, philosophy. A philosophy is a way to think about truth and life. My philosophy is live and let live. Pot, pot. A pot is a deep, round metal container used for cooking. Don't touch the pot on the stove; it's hot. Seed, seed. A seed is the hard part of a plant or fruit that trees grow from. I planted the seed in the dirt. Hoping that it would grow into a tree. Sharp, sharp. A sharp object has a thin edge that cuts things easily. That knife is very sharp. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Sort, sort. 
A sort of something is a type of it. What sort of instrument do you want to learn to play? Subtract. Subtract. To subtract means to take something away. We learned how to subtract numbers in class. Tight. Tight. A tight thing is hard to move because it is firmly in place. The knots were too tight to untie. Virtual, virtual. A virtual thing is very close to being true or accurate. Because he's popular, Joe is the virtual leader of the group. Weigh, weigh. To weigh something means to measure how heavy it is. The little dog weighed exactly three kilograms. Whisper, whisper. To whisper means to say very quietly. We have to whisper in the library so people can focus on reading. The fisherman. Every day, a fisherman sat on a bridge. He ate apples and spat the seeds into the water. He had a simple way to catch fish. He cut a branch off a tree and tied a line to it. He put a sharp hook on the line and made a tight knot. Then he whispered, "Come here, fish." Like magic, the fish bit the hook. He put them in a big net and took them home to make big pots of fish soup from them. One day, another man walked up to him. He said, "My name is George. I am staying at the inn. I bet that I am a better fisherman than you. I will accompany you today. I dare you to prove your skill." The fisherman cast his line. George had a lot of electronic tools. One machine gave him the virtual locations of fish. Another machine weighed fish. At the end of the day, George subtracted his fish from the fisherman's. The fisherman had beaten him by forty-seven. George asked, "How do you catch fish with only a branch and a bare line? I have many different sorts of tools." The fisherman told George, "My philosophy is simple. I am patient." And I believe in myself. Take a deep breath and try it. The fisherman. Every day, a fisherman sat on a bridge. He ate apples and spat the seeds into the water. He had a simple way to catch fish. He cut a branch off a tree and tied a line to it. He put a sharp hook on the line and made a tight knot. Then he whispered, "Come here, fish." Like magic. The fish bit the hook. He put them in a big net and took them home to make big pots of fish soup from them. One day, another man walked up to him. He said, "My name is George. I am staying at the inn. I bet that I am a better fisherman than you. I will accompany you today. I dare you to prove your skill." The fisherman cast his line. George had a lot of electronic tools. One machine gave him the virtual locations of fish. Another machine weighed fish. At the end of the day, George subtracted his fish from the fisherman's. The fisherman had beaten him by forty-seven. George asked, "How do you catch fish with only a branch and a bare line? I have many different sorts of tools." The fisherman told George, "My philosophy is simple. I am patient, and I believe in myself." Take a deep breath and try it. Abstract. Abstract. An abstract thing is an idea or thought, not a physical thing. The idea of beauty is abstract and changes over time. Annual. Annual. An annual event happens once a year. The only time I see my aunts and uncles is at our annual family picnic. Clay, clay. Clay is a type of heavy, wet soil used to make pots. She made a bowl out of the clay. Cloth, cloth. Cloth is material used to make clothes. His shirt is made of a very soft type of cloth. Curtain. Curtain. A curtain is a cloth hung over a window 
or used to divide a room. She opened the curtains to let light into the room. Deserve. Deserve. To deserve is to be worthy of something as a result of one's actions. The dog deserved a bone for behaving very well. Feather. Feather. Feathers are the things covering a bird's bodies. That bird has orange feathers on its chest. Fertile. Fertile. Fertile land is able to produce good crops and plants. The farmer grew many vegetables in the fertile soil. Flood. Flood. A flood is an event in which water covers an area that is usually dry. After three days of rain, there was a flood in the city. Furniture. Furniture. Furniture means the things used in a house, such as tables and chairs. His living room only had a few simple pieces of furniture. Grave. Grave. A grave is the place where a dead person is buried. We visit our grandfather's grave each year. Ideal, ideal. An ideal thing is the best that it can possibly be. This house is an ideal place for my family. It has everything we need. Intelligence, intelligence. Intelligence is the ability to learn and understand things. Because of his high intelligence, he finished school early. Obtain. Obtain. To obtain is to get something you want or need. After I passed the test, I obtained my driver's license. Religious. Religious. Religious means related to or about religion. The holy man spoke about religious topics. Romantic, romantic. Romantic means related to or about love. The young couple went to see a romantic movie. Shell, shell. A shell is a hard covering that protects the body of some sea creatures. There were many pretty shells on the beach. Shore, shore. A shore is the edge of a large body of water. All of the boats were floating near the shore. Wheel, wheel. A wheel is a round thing on a vehicle that turns when it moves. A car has four wheels. Wooden, wooden. Wooden objects are made of wood. My mother gave me a wooden spoon. Osiris and the Nile. Long ago, Osiris was the king of Egypt, and Isis was the queen. They controlled the fertile land by the Nile River. They were not only interested in everyday things; because of their intelligence, they explored abstract ideas as well. Osiris taught the Egyptians how to make wheels and furniture. Isis taught them how to make things from clay and cloth. The people thought the king and queen deserved a gift, so they built Osiris and Isis a pyramid. Everyone loved Osiris except his brother Set. Set wanted to be king. Osiris made his annual trip around Egypt. And led religious events. The people gave him beautiful shells and colorful feathers as gifts. When Osiris returned, Set brought a beautiful wooden box from behind a curtain. If someone fits inside this box, I will give it to him or her, Set said. Osiris got in it. It was an ideal fit. Suddenly. Set closed the box and threw it into the river. Now I will be king, Set said.
The box washed up on a foreign shore after a flood. Isis brought his body home and obtained a grave for him in Egypt. The Egyptian gods thought Isis had done something very romantic. Because of this love, the gods made Osiris the god of the underworld, and Osiris returned every spring to help the farmers. Even nowadays, people say Osiris keeps their crops alive. Osiris and the Nile. Long ago, Osiris was the king of Egypt, and Isis was the queen. They controlled the fertile land by the Nile River. They were not only interested in everyday things. Because of their intelligence, they explored abstract ideas as well. Osiris taught the Egyptians how to make wheels and furniture. Isis taught them how to make things from clay and cloth. The people thought the king and queen deserved a gift. So they built Osiris and Isis a pyramid. Everyone loved Osiris except his brother, Set. Set wanted to be king. Osiris made his annual trip around Egypt and led religious events. The people gave him beautiful shells and colorful feathers as gifts. When Osiris returned, Set brought a beautiful wooden box from behind a curtain. If someone fits inside this box, I will give it to him or her, Set said. Osiris got in it. It was an ideal fit. Suddenly, Set closed the box and threw it into the river. Now I will be king, Set said. The box washed up on a foreign shore after a flood. Isis brought his body home and obtained a grave for him in Egypt. The Egyptian gods thought Isis had done something very romantic. Because of this love, the gods made Osiris the god of the underworld, and Osiris returned every spring to help the farmers. Even nowadays, people say Osiris keeps their crops alive. Apl- appliance, appliance. An appliance is a piece of equipment used for jobs in the home. Many homes have appliances like ovens, toasters, and refrigerators. Basin, basin. A basin is a large bowl for washing things. A sink is sometimes called a basin. She filled the basin with water and washed her face. Broom, broom. A broom is a brush with a long handle used for cleaning floors. My father usually uses a broom to sweep away dust in the basement. Caterpillar, caterpillar. A caterpillar is a small insect that looks like a worm and eats plants. After eating a lot of leaves, caterpillars change into butterflies. Cupboard, cupboard. A cupboard is a piece of furniture that is used to store food or household items. We put all of our dishes and food in the cupboards. Delicate, delicate. Delicate things are easy to break or harm. You should hold the baby carefully because she's very delicate. Emerge, emerge. To emerge from something means to come out of it. A groundhog emerged from a snow-covered hole. Handicap, handicap. A handicap is a condition that limits someone's mental or physical abilities. Joe has a slight handicap, so he uses a walker to get around. Hole, hole. A hole is a hollow space in something solid. They made a big hole in the wall. Hook, hook. A hook is a sharp, curved piece of metal used for catching or holding things.
The fish went after the sharp hook. Hop. Hop. To hop means to jump a short distance. The kangaroo quickly hopped away from danger. Laundry. Laundry. Laundry is clothes that have been or need to be washed. He folded the clean laundry and put the dirty laundry in a basket. Pursue. Pursue. To pursue is to chase or follow someone or something. The mother pursued her young child down the hill. Reluctant. Reluctant. Reluctant means not wanting to do something. She was reluctant to say that she saw the robbery. Sleeve. Sleeve. Sleeves are the part of a shirt in which arms go. Ryan bought a new shirt with long sleeves to keep his arms warm. Spine. Spine. The spine is the group of bones that run up and down the middle of the back. Our spine helps us to stand up nice and straight. Stain. Stain. A stain is a dirty mark that is difficult to clean. He had a red stain on the collar of his shirt. Strip. Strip. A strip is a long, narrow piece of material or land. He had long strips of film that held images of his trip abroad. Swear. Swear. To swear means to promise to do something. I will put my hand on the Bible and swear to do my best for the country. Swing. Swing. To swing something means to move it back and forth or from side to side. He can swing a golf club very powerfully. The Kitten and the Caterpillar Katie the kitten liked to play. One day, Cory the caterpillar emerged from a hole in the wall while Katie was playing in the living room. Hey, Katie said, do you want to play with me? Cory was reluctant. He said, I'd rather not play with you. I have several handicaps. My body is very delicate. Your claws are as sharp as hooks. You might cut me. Plus, I have no bones, not even a spine. You could easily hurt me. I swear that I won't hurt you, Katie said. No, I don't want to, he said again. He hopped from the wall, but Katie pursued him. Corey ran into the kitchen and into the cupboard, but Katie ran right behind. Katie knocked appliances to the floor. Plates fell into the sink and broke in the basin. Then, Corey ran into a bedroom. Some laundry was on the floor. Corey hid under a shirt, but Katie saw him. She jumped on the shirt. Her paws left stains on it, and her claws tore the sleeves into strips. However, Corey escaped. He used a small hole in the floor to hide. But Katie saw him. Now you are caught, said Katie. Corey tried to avoid Katie's claws. He moved his body as far into the hole as possible. He didn't know how he'd get out of the hole. Just then, Katie's owner came home. She saw that the house was a mess. She took a broom and swung it at Katie. She chased Katie out of the house. Corey was safe, and Katie was left outside because she didn't listen to the wishes of others. The Kitten and the Caterpillar Katie the kitten liked to play. One day, Corey the caterpillar emerged from a hole in the wall while Katie was playing in the living room. Hey, Katie said. Do you want to play with me? Corey was reluctant. He said, I'd rather not play with you. 
I have several handicaps. My body is very delicate. Your claws are as sharp as hooks. You might cut me. Plus, I have no bones, not even a spine. You could easily hurt me. I swear that I won't hurt you, Katie said. No, I don't want to, he said again. He hopped from the wall, but Katie pursued him. Corey ran into the kitchen and into the cupboard, but Katie ran right behind. Katie knocked appliances to the floor. Plates fell into the sink and broke in the basin. Then Corey ran into a bedroom. Some laundry was on the floor. Corey hid under a shirt, but Katie saw him. She jumped on the shirt. Her paws left stains on it, and her claws tore the sleeves into strips. However, Corey escaped. He used a small hole in the floor to hide. But Katie saw him. Now you are caught, said Katie. Corey tried to avoid Katie's claws. He moved his body as far into the hole as possible. He didn't know how he'd get out of the hole. Just then, Katie's owner came home. She saw that the house was a mess. She took a broom and swung it at Katie. She chased Katie out of the house. Corey was safe, and Katie was left outside because she didn't listen to the wishes of others.